Oh, oh. We got it. That's a big one. That's a good one. That's oh. finally a good one. That's a really good one. That's a big rock. That's a perch. Oh, that's oh a perch. let's go. That's a huge butter perch. That's a nice butter perch. Biggest fish of the day right there. We've been catching dinky ones all day. That's got to be at least 12 inches. Look how shiny his scales are. Nice little splash of iridescent blue. Of course, they always got that little blue lining down here. Their glorious mustache. What a chunk. Oh, that's a nibble. That's a good one. Been about an hour since I caught something. Feels like a decent nibble. There we go. Got it. Got it. It's a good one. Nice. It's a decent rockfish. I don't even know which one you are. It's a super decent one though. That's gotta be like a 10 incher right there. Nice, look at this guy. This is a really decent rockfish. That's fish tacos right there. Such a pretty fish. Looks very kelpy. Nice, Pure Life got a fish. By the way, Pure Life's here. Hello. Small rockfish. Super small. What is that, like four inches? That's two or three at least. The dinkiest. Look how vibrant he is though. Very dark brown. Pretty cool. Back to go. Pure Life's catching all the dinky boys. This is a black rock fish, I think. I'm using a really dinky hook, size 8, and they're still nibbling off the bait. Nibble, nibble. Pretty dinky though. Oh, that's a little bit bigger. Take the bait. They're not finicky, huh? Yeah, they are very finicky. You weren't kidding. Usually the bite is pretty instant over here. I don't think I got it. Yeah, I did. First fish of the day. And it's a nice dinky rockfish. Oh yeah, this is definitely bigger than the other two. I'm gonna guess like maybe six inches. All right, so this is either a black or a blue. I always mix them up. Either way, it's going back in. Thanks for playing, Mr. Rockfish. Let's see if we can catch another one. That's a nice change of pace considering how yesterday went. It was raining so hard. It was like raining sideways. And I was over at the fisherman's wharf and the wind and the rain was so strong. There was a gust that almost pushed me over and I was like, yeah, no, I'm not doing this anymore. Nibble, nibbles, dinky nibbles. We're so finicky today. Uh, I think he ran into a hole. Well, that's fishing at Coast Guard Pier for you. Lots of rocks. Oh, I think I got, nice. He's still there. Another dinky rockfish. They are so finicky though. Back to go, Mr. Dinky Rockfish. There you go. Little dinky nibbles. There might just be dinky boys here right now, which is fine. Always fun to catch them. Come, come. Yep, another dinky rockfish. Probably a two incher as well. Super tiny. Love the collars on the super small ones though. Nice and vibrant. Back to go, dinky boy. What's on your hook, dude? Looks like Matt caught a snail. How did you even catch that? I was snagged. I guess I probably just hooked it off a rock. Really cool snail though. Look at the patterns on the shell. <laughs> Let's get them off, then we can throw them back. Bye, snaily boy. All right, first snail of the day for Matt. PV snail. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Nibbles? It was like bum bum bum. Go, 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 go. Yeah, little dinky rockfish for Cody. Another three incher. There's only dinky ones right now, but yeah, that's still nice. So tiny. Nice, look at your little dinky fish. Back to go. Got it. Looks like Pure Life's got a blacksmith. Look at the colors of this thing. Based on a reflection on the sun, you can see like it, it's kind of purplish. And then like if you turn it over there, it's like green. Yeah, when I was here like two weeks ago, I caught more than 60 of these using a bobber. That's what I might switch to right now, actually. Well, where's the other 60? Oh, that's a good nibble. Oh, oh. You got it? You got it, you got it. Oh, oh that was such a good bite. Ooh. 
A painted greenling. Sixth fish of the day, painted greenling. Look at the colors of this thing. Actually, the first time I caught this, I originally thought it was venomous. It was in Sven's video. I yeah, that. it's a very pretty fish though, for sure. Yeah, they normally don't get bigger than this. This is actually an adult painted greenling. I think it has eggs, or I'm not sure, maybe just fat. All right, Matt caught a rockfish. There you go, the bite's picking up. Doubled up. You got a rockfish? My fish? friend Matt caught a rockfish. This is a yeah. nice blue rockfish. Or black. I think it's a blue this I time. felt the blackfish is fine, like it's it was like sharp, and I was like, Ugh. wow. Hey, hey, hey. Another blacksmith. I knew it. All right, Cody has a blacksmith, woo. What's up, Anglers and Anglets? It's your boy Sven, and welcome back to my channel. I'm out here with my boy, Pure Life Fisherman. Hey, what's up, guys? And his boys, Matt and Cody. He's teaching them how to fish right now. I'm helping out a little bit. I didn't even know he was gonna be here until I told him about yesterday's rainstorm, and he was like, oh, by the way, I'm coming out tomorrow. I was like, all right, I'll meet up with you then. Hopefully we can catch some rockfish, some blacksmith, and some other species. Well, we caught rockfish, uh -huh. we caught blacksmith, and we caught a painted greenly. All the above. We'll see if we can get some nice ones though. Mm -hmm. The bite is pretty finicky right now. I think it's picking up a little bit though, so we might get lucky. It's a beautiful day, nice and sunny for a change. Yesterday was all clouds, all wind, super cold. I bet today is gonna be a great day for fishing. I mean, it is already a great day for fishing. We already caught a good amount of fish. It might rain a little bit later, but as of right now, I think we're pretty solid. But enough duping around, let's gear up and get back to fishing. But before we get started, we gotta talk a little bit about safety, which isn't that much. Over here at the Coast Guard Pier and or Jetty, it's a pretty safe spot, good walking path, not anything to really be concerned about. I still always recommend shoes with good traction. If anything, the more important tips at the spot is about the fishing itself. There is a whole bunch of rocks everywhere and a whole bunch of kelp over there. You can cast in between the kelp and the rocks and there's some good rockfish there usually. Sometimes you'll catch them in between all the dinky boys. I recommend bringing a pretty strong rod with pretty strong line. If you do get stuck in the kelp, you can at least rip through it. If you get stuck in the rock, there's nothing you can really do about it. Whenever you're fishing anywhere, that's super rocky always bring a lot of extra tackle it is snag central on these rocks for sure really good fishing here at the coast guard pier but you can and will lose a lot of weights it's better to have and not need than need and not have <laughs> rockfish for pure life on the bobber rig. Bobber rig this bobber is actually rig. a bigger one how big is it i don't know it's a lot chunkier that Pretty is one. a nice rockfish it's got width it got mint I mean, not mint. I mean, it got meat. It got mint. <laughs> it got mint. It got mint. Another dinky rockfish for Matt. Yeah, they're not getting any bigger than like six inches so far for today. But that's fine. Dinky boys are always fun to catch. Hey. Nice one. Another one for pure life. That's gotta be like seven inches. Yep, they're getting bigger. They're getting there. I think the bobber rig is working really well for you. It looks like there's a nice little deep hole right here. Let's see if any fishies are hanging out in there. Nibble, maybe. PB kelp. A little bit. They're so picky. Definitely getting nibbles, but just a couple and then they stop. They want their food like well done. They want like the right way. It's like fish out of salad bar right now. <laughs> we don't want no shrimp. It's been about two hours since I caught anything. The boys have been catching plenty of fish, but they're all still the same thing. Didn't keep blacksmith and rockfish. Wonder where all the big boys are. Another blacksmith for Cody. Good catch. So many dinky nibbles. Nibbles, that's it. Yeah, but they're all so small. That's a good nibble. I think I got it, maybe? Yep. Another dinky rockfish. Took so long to catch this guy. What's up? Oh, Pure Life's got one too. Back to back. The dinkiest rockfish. I think they're the same. Yeah, they're, they're, they're the same about size. the same size. They're twins. Be free, little one. Oh, oh. We got it. That's a big one. That's a good one. That's oh. finally a good one. That's a really good one. That's, that's a big rockfish. That's a bird. Oh. That's a bird. oh. 
let's go. That's a huge butter perch. That's a nice butter perch. Nice. Biggest fish of the day right there. Let's freaking go. Finally, I was waiting for the big ones. We've been catching dinky ones all day. That's gotta be at least 12 inches. That's more than 12 inches. Well, let's give them a measure. Do you have your measuring tape? Nope. That's a Monterey perch right there. And we got another little rock. <laughs> yeah, we got both up. Look at that guys, that is a really good sized butter perch. Look how shiny his scales are. Nice little splash of iridescent blue. Of course they always got that little blue lining down here. Their glorious moustache. Pretty solid catch. I think I'm gonna keep this one. What a chonky. Super chonky. And look, Pure Life caught one too. Mine's obviously bigger, you know. For sure. 50 pounds, this is my PB right here. That's a nice catch you got there though. Wait, that's a blacksmith. This is a huge blacksmith. Look at that. Pure Life caught a huge blacksmith. That's like eight incher. Mm -hmm. This is a nice one. It took off all the drag and my drag was pretty loose, but still like, this is a nice size blacksmith right there. Beautiful. All right, let's see if we can catch another good butter perch. That was what I was going for. For sure, lots of dinky boys. Now, obviously, I don't mind catching the dinky boys. I'm hoping the bigger ones will start coming out. If I swap to a size 12, I'm pretty sure I can catch a whole bunch, but I'm gonna stick with a size six. Maybe we'll catch another nice butter perch. Ooh, that's some good nibbles. Cody's getting some nibbles too. He's trying to whisper to the fish. Come on, fishy boys. It's some real good shrimp. It's some real good, oh my gosh. Yeah, there you go. It's some really good shrimp, right? That's some really good shrimp. I think this blacksmith also thought it was some really good shrimp. Cody's the fish whisperer. I actually don't know if you guys can see it, but there's actually a good chunk of jellyfish. They just kind of float around. I want to say it's a moon jelly, but I'm not sure. There's how many jellyfish are there? I know, right? I see like at least two. What are they doing over here? Doing jellyfish things. Who has a fish, you or Pure Life? Oh, 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 oh. oh. Get him up, get him up. Yeah, yeah double yeah. up. Two blacksmiths. Double blacksmith. He's got a size eight and a size 12 because he was like trying to go for both. Up. He got That's a crazy. small blacksmith and a... Me. Wait, which one's the eight? Which one's the 12? The eight's on the bottom and the 12 is on top. Okay, it's perfect too because the bottom one's bigger. I know. That's crazy. I doubled up on blacksmith and I'm even more surprised that I didn't even tangle. Imagine we tripled up and I got one. Blacksmith for Matt. Six or seven cats per day, it's good. We are definitely catching a lot of fish, just so small. The biggest one for sure is the bar perch I caught. And the huge rock perch I caught. Yeah. Oh yeah, I can't forget perch? that one. I totally caught this one. Oh, yeah, there's Pure Life's rock, rock fish. Rock? That's not even a rock. That's a nice blacksmith. <laughs> Another blacksmith for Matt. He didn't even say anything, he just brought it up. We just looked to our right and then we ran. just said ooh at the same time. Nice one. Another blacksmith for Pure Life. We got some Cody's fish whispering. He's talking about how the, the shrimp was sponsored or something by Trader Joe's and it bit. Cody, how did you hook yourself? I have no idea. I ran over to go see the blacksmith and I got hooked. Oh, it's not even that bad. Good? Yeah, he's good. Another one for Cody. That's his ninth one. He's looking for 10 for today. Yep. Almost got it. Ooh, that's a nibble. That's a good one. It's been about an hour since I caught something and it feels like a decent nibble. There we go, got it, got it. It's a good one. Nice, it's a decent rockfish. I don't even know which one you are. It's a super decent one though. That's gotta be like a 10 incher right there. Nice, look at this guy. This is a really decent rockfish. I'm pretty sure it's a kelp rockfish. I always mix my rockfish up, but definitely a good one. That's fish tacos right there. Such a pretty fish, looks very kelpy. I've just been slowly making my way down. I've been like casting like hey, every five right feet thing. until something bites because it is super slow, but there is so much good structure. There has to be good fish somewhere. And here he is. I'll probably just keep doing the same Another thing. One? No, this is the same one. Oh, <laughs> where was it? Right there? Yeah, like right there at that pole. I just cast it into that spot right there. I'll probably just keep making my way down whenever I don't have any bites. Here's a nice fish after an hour of nothing. All right, let's cast back into the same spot. Maybe there's another rockfish there. I think I got a nibble. Yep, that's a nibble. Yeah, that's a really good nibble. I think I'm gonna get another one right now. Come on, fishy boy. Look, there's another eating something. Hello, Mr. Beach Chicken. Actually, that's a Mrs. Beach Chicken. They're just hanging around. I'm gonna check my bait. Oh, I did catch something. Oh, I doubled up. 
<laughs> I doubled up on Dinky Boys. Looks like a blacksmith and another rockfish. Yeah, that, yeah rock that one's fish. the rock. That, that one's the black. Double Dinky Boys. Oh. No, Mr. Beast Chicken! He took it! He took it! Wait, I think he just took the fish! He just took the rockfish. Wow, that fish got sniped. I think I found the honey hole though. I'm just gonna cast back and see if there's anything else there. Things are picking up. So many things are happening right now. I got a nibble. Oh, yeah, that's a good bite. Got it! Got it! Ooh! Nice, a painted greenling! Second painted greenling of the day! I found a honey hole, man. Oh, there's a beast chicken. Look at that. This is a painted greenling. Super cool fish. Love the collars on them. It almost kind of looks like a sculpin, especially around the fins, but it's not. All right, back to go, Mr. Greenling. Not this time, Mr. Beast chicken. All right, let's see how many I can catch in this honey hole. We got three so far. Let's go for four. There you go, number 10. <sighs> Done it. He and done it. It is another black spin. Wow. That one's got a lot of green. Isn't that beautiful? Very pretty fish. Very pretty. You got your 10th one? Yep. Nice one. 10, let's go. It looks like it's starting to rain again too. I don't think this is going to be light rain. It's looking like London. Oh yeah, definitely. Hopefully it won't be as bad as yesterday. It's actually kind of coming down pretty strong right now. Do you guys see all the ripples in the water? Oh nice, nice. Number nine for Matt. One more and he's got 10. Cody's already got 10. Pure Life already went way over 10. Oh, it's a tiny one. It's a it's probably there the we tiny go. blacksmith of the day, but he's done it. He's yeah. got his 10. That's a pretty big blacksmith right there. That's a really good blacksmith. We're catching them back to back right now. They started coming out when the rain started hitting. It's a nice blacksmith. So. I gotta say, that's like a seven, eight inch your blacksmith. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've been catching some nice size. I low key feel like we've been getting more bites as soon as the rain started. They've recently been biting a lot. Another one in the rain. Man, it's really pouring right now. Quite refreshing though. Oh, oh, come on. You know you like him. Hot and ready. Fresh rim. Huh? That's a good nibble. What? That's a good nibble. You got it, you got That's it. Got, I got, I got. Nice oh, it's on the rock. Oh, I must have just lost it. Ah, oh. oh, it snapped the hook off. That was a good one. It's really starting to come down right now. Got him. Nice. Rockfish. Rockfish? Otters, tearing at me. You got Another it? rockfish in the rain for Pure Life. This is a nice one. This one swallowed it though, but it's a nice size. Like this one's around five, six inches. It's a nice size. Yeah, you might have to keep that one. It doesn't look like it'll make it. Pure Another life. fish for Pure Life, back to back. Another blacksmith. Fishing is really good when it's raining. I guess fish when it rains. Just wear the appropriate clothing. You don't want to get drenched out here, especially with Monterey's cold weather. And it's winter. I'm fishing in the rain. I'm fishing in the rain. Got it! Got it! Oh, that's a nice one. Oh, no, I think it was stuck. No! That was a nice one, too. It was a nice one. Well, at least Pure Life's still catching them. I can't believe I lost that big one. All right, let's try this again. I know exactly where he was when I lost him. My friends been catching a lot. And yet another one for pure life. Another rockfish. Why, hello, Mr. Bird. Just duping around. Nibble. That's a good one. Hello, Mr. Seal. Goodbye, Mr. Sealy. What? Oh, they're freezing. I already accepted it. Uh, it took me into a hole. I knew it. You got it? No, but I got it out of the hole. All right, it's starting to get cold. I think I got a good bite. I think so. Yeah, I think that's a good one. Nice. Let's freaking go. Another kelp. Another Whoa. kelp rockfish. Another decent kelp rockfish. Also about a 10 inch. This one might be 11. Anyways, as I was saying, it's getting pretty cold. I just wanted to catch one more dinky or chonky and call it. You got a big one. Yeah, and I did catch a big one, so this works. Pretty decent rockfish. How many is this one? I think this is uh, number 59 or 60. 60? Mm -hmm. You've been keeping track? I lost count a long time ago. Yeah, I've been keeping track of it. Coast Guard Pier, four anglers. That's pretty solid. And in the rain. 
Rain All right. does not stop us fishermen. You can't stop the fishing. I'm gonna keep this one too. I know it's pretty dark that so you guys can't see anymore. Rain's starting to die down a little bit, but it's getting dark and it's getting really cold. So we're gonna call it. <laughs> hey, light turned on. Thanks for watching guys. I know this video is a little offbeat, but honestly super fun. I've never fished in the rain before. That was really fun though. Me neither. I haven't fished in the rain before. So first of all, everything, it's a cool experience. It's definitely a cool experience. Into the cooler. Into the cooler. Later. Well, at this point, might as well just check. I don't want to be close to this wall for too long. This is the only wall that's protecting me right now from all the crazy waves. What's up anglers and anglets, it's your boy Sven and welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be a little bit of a weird intro. It is raining so hard right now. It's also super windy so like the rain is going sideways. Pretty cool but at the same time it's going to be really hard to fish. You know what, I might as well do the safety part right now too. When the weather is very inclement, wear very warm clothing. Especially if it's raining, make sure it's waterproof. You don't want to be standing out there getting soaked. Be very careful wherever you decide to fish. Right now I'm over at the Fisherman's Wharf. I figured if I'm going to be fishing in the rain, this is the safest place for me to be. I'm going to try my best to film. My clothing is rainproof, but the GoPro is not. Oh, you know what? Until I catch a fish, I'm just going to put my hat over the GoPro. We'll see what happens. I don't even know if I'll catch anything today. I hope I can catch something though. On the bright side, the wind and rain are going this direction. So as long as I face this way, I can protect the GoPro from the water. I got a dropper rig with a little piece of shrimp. I also have a four ounce, just because I don't want it to be swaying around, especially if the wind picks up again. It's slowing down just a bit right now, but who knows how that'll go. I'm just going to be fishing next to all the pilings. Good old reliable shrimp, don't fail me now. You can see the rain and the wind rippling through the water. It's actually pretty cool. Or if you want to see it on land, that's what it looks like right now. Super windy, super rainy. All right, I can't do this. A gust of wind was so strong and almost pushed me down. This is not safe at all, so I'm going to call it. And apparently my boots have also somehow filled with water. We'll have to stay fishing for another day. This is not going to work.